Hello and welcome to CAD Graphics Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to make a pretty neat render using Autodesk Revit Architecture 2012. Start off, you will need to open Autodesk Revit Architecture 2012 and have a completed, well, not partial completed building that you can use make a render on. Here I'm going to open an eco center I recently built for one of my school assessments. Here it is. Just please excuse all the bright colors, that is the colors that are required to make the building. Or there are many ways to use render. We can use render. We can render this now as it is, or we can make like a first-person view render. To do that, up here in this toolbar here, where there's currently a house-like, you have all these options where you go walk through and camera. Camera's one we use to make a first-person view, but we can show you to do that. The best way to do that is in one of your ground views. So I'll make one off in the ground floor from now and go up here and click on the camera now you click where you want your first person camera to start off so say if you want it in the corner or let's say here click on it drag it in and if you drag it out you can see it expands to the view where you want to view so if we say we look at the whole building like that let go like that just click again and that's your view at the moment, it doesn't look too good, like we've got a bit of the car park in there, you don't really want the car park. So what you can do, you can zoom out and change the picture here. So you can drag this up, drag this one up. There you go, make it look a little better. Alright, and that is how you make your first person views. That obviously is a bit too long of a picture, which you probably wouldn't use there. But what you can also do, you can, if you don't want it to be first person again, you can play around with this and it still does look pretty good. Alright, I earlier, well, I made a view which was pretty cool, which I'll render for you guys. But if you head down here, where you got your 3D views, you can see all the previous views you've made. See, I've got here the main entrance, some meeting space area I did, rear building. Blah, blah blah. This is the one we made just then. That one there, which don't really like, so you can just click on it, delete it. Alright. We say we want to render this main entrance. Here's obviously the main entrance. If you head to view, render, and you come up with this toolbox, the render toolbox here. To start off with, you could choose what quality render you'd like. Well, you got draft being the crappiest, should I say, where it's not as good and best obviously being the best but the more the higher you put the quality obviously the longer it's going to take to re uh, render I'll quickly do a draft one so you can see how quick that is and how it looks and then I'll go to a best one later okay you can also play around here I always keep it on screen and with this lighting if you're doing an outside render like I am you'd want it exterior but you can also do exterior and uh, exterior sun and artificial, which just means you've got the sunlight plus you've got the indoor lights that you've put around. But so far, I haven't got any indoor lights in, so I'll just keep it indoor sun only. But saying if you were to do the inside of it, you have to do one of these interior ones down here. What you can also do, background. You can choose a color, and then also Revit has a default sky view, which you've got sky with no clouds, very few clouds, few clouds, blah, blah, blah. Personally, I like very cloudy because it does look pretty cool, but you can also have an image or a color. If you do color, you have to pick a color, obviously, here, like usual. And if you do image, you're going to have to browse for your image like this. But we'll just do sky, very cloudy. Here is also just the background, like the resolution of the background. Clear, obviously, being really clear and hazy, being like dull and not as good looking, but yeah. And so far I've gone on draft, so I'll just quickly render a draft one for you. This computer at the moment I am using is Intel Core i7, so it is a pretty fast computer, so we should do this now very quick. Mm -hmm. It is actually taking its time for some reason. As you can see, it looks very dullish at the moment as it starts rendering. But it will fix up now. Alright. As you see, it has got the clouds like we asked for, blah blah blah, and so on. When this is finished, I'll show you guys some cool saving tips. Alright, that's draft resolution. As you can see, that's not something you really want to present in an assessment or business wise. 
But what you can do, tell you if this you're happy with this, or well, I wouldn't be, but if you're happy with this, you can save it. You can save it to the project, or you can export it. If you save it to the project, just enter the name, and I'll show you where it saves later. But if you export it, you can export it into a file of your choice. And you can save it as JPEG, bitmap, portable network graphics, or a TIFF file, so forth, so forth. So, um, if you just cancel this, well, if you did save it to the image, um, to the file, this Revit file, it would come under here in renderings. Down, this is a render I did earlier, the same what we're looking at now, but I did this in best resolution, and that is it. Um, if you guys have any questions, just put them in the comments, but otherwise thank you for your time, I'll see you next time.